City College of Colombia (CCC). It is one of the well-known local college institution in the city of Colombia. It gives opportunities to the youths who were financially challenged but deserving students. It serves as a helping hand to the students to achieve their goals. Having a globally competitive teachers and the continuous changes that is being seen in the City College of Colombia brings big impact to its image. Did you have enough knowledge about the school? How sure you are that this is just a simple and ordinary college institution? Competence, commitment, and character. C, C, C. I personally interviewed Professor Neil Aligan about his experiences during the first year of City College of Colombia. He was one of the pioneer batches graduated under the course of secondary education major in biological sciences. I experienced na magkaroon ng classroom sa tabi ng mga preso. Hindi maayos ang facilities kasi ito ay converted lang into school na dati siyang municipal hall. Pero hindi namin nakita yung facilities bilang hindran sa pag-aaral ng sudyante. The current college institution was once the municipal of the Calambe. This is where most of the governmental transactions happen. It is also known as city jail, so when the college started, it's not an easy thing to overcome. Since the image was tarnished by the previous function of the building, most of the students base on these issues when it comes to the performance of the city scholars. City College of Calamba was established during the regime of Mayor Joaquin Chepeco Sr. and our team had been able to conduct an interview with one of the pioneers that was with him during the establishment of the school, Dr. Leonardo Apolencia Sr. The college started to operate um, sometime in June 2006. So we decided to to start its operation on during the celebration of the uh, birth anniversary of our national hero. So it, it started officially on uh, June 19, 2006. The mayor decided uh, to, to inaugurate the college on that date because that date was a historical date. The, the number of one requirement at that time, including was income, say income, because this this college was established for the financially challenged uh, students. Of course, you have to be a resident of Kalamba. At that time, the idea was only for permanent resident. So you have to be a permanent resident. Now, this is to prevent migrants from taking advantage of the provisions of the college because we cannot provide for everybody. At that time, there were only around more or less uh, 25 to 30 full-time uh, teachers. Since there is a big number of youths in Calamba who were not able to enroll to complete their tertiary education, Mayor Joaquin Chipeco Sr. together with Dr. Apolencia designed a laterized system of education through providing funding for educational assistance in form of scholarships. The first group of administration and faculty members were all the product of University of the Philippines. 95% of faculty members were UP teachers, that is why CCC is said to be the extension of UP. During the first entrance examination, half of the takers were accommodated through the two-year program Associate in Information Technology, which was one of the courses offered at the time. Having a high-profile professor during that time, would it mean that CCC had a great record in terms of their performance in its first year as college institution? It was a mixed uh, performance. Uh, you might have excellent teachers. Huh? So we did have excellent teachers. But it, it has to be uh, coupled with the right 
pool or population of, of students. I would say that, like for example, in my case, it was really challenging. Challenging. And I would say, I, I would prefer to use the word challenging. The excitement was there because you will become part of, of history. The history of the city, history of the college, being a pioneering batch. I'm, I'm so proud that I was part of the core of public servants that started the college. Establishing a college is a very, very serious political decision. That is according to Dr. Apolensha. Behind the successful establishment of the college, the administrations received criticism from its competitors who offered basically the same courses as the college did. How did the administration handle all the challenges that they had experienced coming from different form of criticism? Establishing a college <coughs> was a popular move for the beneficiaries. But it was also unpopular for the competitors. So most of the schools that offer basically the same cor courses as the college uh, did, of course, criticize us. They lost income. Uh, many, were, many teachers were also affected because the enrollment of many nearby schools dropped. So it caused uh, economic dislocation on the part of some uh, teachers. City College of Columba undoubtedly gained its popularity even from the very start of its establishment up until this day. Was CCC that popular? At the time, yes. Huh? It was popular. As a matter of fact, we were able to prove our excellence um, when 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 we were ranked fifth and seventh na, um, four to five years ago some happenings in ccc in the past were just remain as history maybe there are some residues that could still be seen nowadays but ccc is in the process of constant changes and improvements offering courses like accountancy, education, and computer-related program, and as a city scholar, the duty is to be a lifelong learner and be a globally competitive individual. CCC truly hones the student's competence, commitment, and character.